Finally, after wanting Ernie Clement to be called up for a long, long time, he finally gets the call up today. And in his first game back, goes two for four with a strikeout. He looked quite fantastic in this game against the Nationals. And, you know, this is a great move. I've been wanting this move for a long, long time. Just the David Schneider move, I was calling it for a long, long time as well. And obviously, he finally got called up. I called that David Schneider move literally like the day before, right as it was pretty much happening. And you guys complimented me on that. And obviously, David Schneider looked fantastic there. And you guys were giving me praise for that. So I appreciate you guys' support on those videos, especially those ones, because you guys just went nuts with uh, all the support and the nice comments and stuff. So thank you guys for that. But Ernie Clement, obviously, I've been saying it for a while now. I wanted him called up, and he looked great so far in his first game back in about a month in between starts in the major leagues. And he got to start at shortstop today because Espinal has been awful, and Bo is now hurt again day to day. So I'm very happy that Ernie got called back up. And this is a guy who can play First, second, third, left field, right field, shortstop. He can play pretty much anywhere. And he's even actually pitched for the Blue Jays as well this year. Obviously, he's not actually a pitcher, but this year has had about an inning of just, you know, being a position player pitching just kind of in, in one of those one of those blow games. So that is kind of cool as well. And this is a guy who just he can play pretty much anywhere except for center field and catcher and, and obviously pitcher. But, I mean, he actually did it once this year as well, so kind of cool. But overall, he is just a great hitter. He's a great ball player and definitely a guy who I wanted to see the Jays get call up because he, it's not like he's old either. This is a guy who is still only 27 years old, didn't turn 28 until March. He is younger than Santiago Espinal, right? Santiago Espinal turns 29 in November. Ernie Clement doesn't turn 28 until March. So obviously Ernie is much younger. He's also not a free agent until 2028. Whereas, you know, a guy like Santiago Espinal is a free agent in 2027. So everything is on the side of Ernie Clement. He's better defensively. He's more versatile. He's a better hitter. He's younger. He has more team control. Literally everything you want out of a ball player, Ernie Clement has on his side over Espinal. And I think, honestly, when you call up a guy like this, we saw it with David Schneider too, it can bring just a new... New, new energy, new life to the team. And obviously it worked quite well with David Schneider. So I'm not saying Ernie's going to be coming out here and hitting like five homers and like 12 games played or whatever it is. But I think Ernie can still be a great ball player and help this team out a ton. Being an extremely versatile player can play a crap ton of different positions and just bring a new energy, new life to this ball team who desperately needs change here. We need to switch something up here. Something's got to change. We got the win against the Nats tonight, and I am just extremely happy about this move. I've been wanting it for a while. Ernie seems like a great guy, a great ball player, a versatile player, a solid hitter, solid defender. He's not like some like gold glove caliber, you know, short type by any means, but he can definitely hold his own and at least do as good as Espinal has been doing. I mean, Espinal has been quite awful this year. Wherever he's been playing defense really hasn't been great at all. And, you know, I'm just really happy about this move. I, I am so happy. I've been wanting Ernie up for a while. And Ernie doesn't have to hit, you know, 300 to stay on this team, I don't think. I think he just needs to be better than Espinal. And he has been at better than Espinal. And there's no reason to have a guy like Espinal on the roster when you have a guy like Ernie who was just, like I said, in every way pretty much just a better ball player and more versatile. And that is the big thing as well is he is such a versatile player. Like playing first, second, third, shortstop, left field, right field is absolutely amazing. He's played all those positions this year. And that says something about the guy when you play pretty much any position except for center field and catcher, that means something that you are a good ball player and a very versatile guy, and that is great to see. And he's also only 27 years old. There's been a lot of ball players. I mean, we've seen him with Joey Bats, who, you know, came out of nowhere late. I'm not saying he's going to be some crazy, you know, kind of like level of excellence type guy for the Blue Jays, but there's guys who are, you know, in their late 20s, end up being great ball players and break out of nowhere. And maybe Ernie can be that guy. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he does. We'll have to wait and see, but I think Ernie has the potential to be a very good ball player for this team and an absolutely fantastic bench player who is an extremely versatile player, can play solid defense, and has a great overall bat. Now, this year so far with the Blue Jays, he has 12 at-bats, three runs, six hits, two RBIs, a stolen bag, hitting 500, 500 on base, you know, uh, a 1083 on OPS, which is not bad at all. Like He's just a great ball player. He's been great this year overall. And in the minor leagues, has also... Looks quite fantastic. I mean, this is a guy who has absolutely raked this year, has a 339 batting average in AAA, 11 homers, you know, and 274 at bats, which is not bad at all, 55 runs, 93 hits, 55 RBIs, 12 stolen bags, a 394 on base, a 927 OPS. 
Also, his walk-to-strikeout ratio is amazing. In 69 games played this year, he has 25 walks to only 15 strikeouts. He does not strike out much at all. It's pretty much less than one in every four games he's striking out, which is just insane. And he's overall a great ball player, a very versatile player, and definitely deserving of staying off the Blue Jays, especially over a guy like Santiago Espinal. So I definitely hope that he stays up after September call-ups and after guys like Bo and Chapman you know, come back from injuries and stuff. I definitely think he deserves a spot on this roster and definitely one over a guy like Santiago Espinal. But anyways, guys, Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please smash the like button and definitely comment down below your guys' thoughts on Ernie Clement because personally, I'm a pretty big fan of him and I definitely think he can have a pretty good impact on this team and definitely better than Espinal.